bed of Christmas decoration I had. I I contemplated getting like spring decor. One, I can't have real flowers because my cats will eat them or find a way. What about having like my fake flowers that I used to have, but I tossed all of those. It's just all on my clothes. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I came from an apartment that had a giant walk-in closet, and I had lots of clothes. Now I have a regular closet, and you can't go from a walk-in closet to like a regular closet. So I have all my stuff here. So it's t-shirts and tank tops, um, dresses, hoodies and jackets, sweaters, and then my shoes. So much more neater. Closet's all clean for the most part. Ignore her up there. <laughs> Sweatpants, workout outfits, skirts, pajamas are in, shorts and pants. More storage space, I guess you could say, but the cats like to lay in there, so I leave it open. That looks empty, but so much cleaner. Oh, keep one of my Vampire Diaries um, meets. Uh, that was signed by one of the Stranger Things kids. Still need to find a place to put my jewelry because this is just so bad. But I just don't know where to put my necklaces. I just, I mean, I was thinking about this wall. But that's just so weird. So this is what my necklace are necklaces are on till then and finally i organized it and went through every purse and now all the purses are empty because every purse had junk in it and i went through that and now that is going to be my go-to purse um this is all clean i do need to go back to target and return this ink Excuse me. Are you looking for this? Are you looking for your toy? You got a toy. Is this the one you want? Which one do you want? Pick yours. Pick your mouse. Oh, well, she didn't get far. You want your catnip toy? You want your, you good girl? Went to Walgreens and on Pinterest, I made a vision board for my life. So this is what it looks like. And got this binder at Target like half an inch and we got some folders inside it's supposed to be goals finances acting stuff youtube stuff and singing stuff vision board for my life in there we've got traveling jet money the tonight show uh paris greece italy we got back lots and trailers for like films and tv shows and um winning an Oscar, speaking at Comic Cons. Reading a book on the ocean is to me the most luxurious thing out of all of this. Quotes on here. Oh, we also have the passport to where I'm traveling. And we have Finn Wolford because one, he's one of my celebrity crushes and also represents 
how I kind of want my acting career. Like when I think of my acting career, I think of like Anne Hathaway, Emma Roberts, Emma Stone, uh, Margaret Robbie, iconic like TV shows and movies. And Finn Wolfhard represents being in an iconic TV show and in a bunch of feature films. Um, I resonate a lot with him. After meeting him, I like became such a fangirl and I added him to this. That is my vision board I recently made. Open the binder. The first thing you have is this thing that says scan to watch videos and it's this uh, QR code. Um, I have a QR code made, yes, for my YouTube channel. I go through like my, my life goals, my year goals, goals, seasonal goals, goals in general, goals for everything. Uh, finances is like a huge theme of this year that I wanna like, I'm really working on breaking down debt and like creating a savings and becoming financially free. Acting could be like acting scripts I'm working on or I don't know. Like the more I'm looking at this, maybe I do need a bigger binder. So my calendar at a glance and every Wednesday we'll have a vlog. So we have today's video for April 3rd. Next week will be a week in a life video. I do have stuff, all kinds of activities planned. So I already know I'm gonna have like a few days in my life vlog at least twice. Um, I'm going to be working another convention. <laughs> I work conventions like at least once a month or every other month. Um, this my budget tracker board. You write basically like how much money you have so far, how much money you need to go towards, and then you write the goal. So say like, I need $3,000 in a month. So let's just say for example, it'd be like, I need $3,000 by April 30th. I have $2,500. No, it'd be like, I have $500 so far. I still need $2,500 more to go. And then it's constantly like in mine. I've always thought this was great for saving up. I've noticed that uh, if I don't have it, it's weird. It's like, you don't really pay attention to where your money's going or how much you have, but this will make you one like, oh, okay. That's in my insight. To be my spring goals, so I'm thinking about doing, just focusing on spring, which is all of April, May, and June. So the goals I want is to save up a certain amount, prepare for my birthday, saving up money and getting out of debt, a whole list of books that I will be reading. So I'm gonna sit and plan, and then that'll be it. And then I can finally relax and watch Barbie. I think I might watch Barbie while I plan. I'll be inspired and watch Barbie. Was someone supposed to warn me that Barbie was gonna make me so emotional? <laughs> I can't stop crying. Save up money and pay off debt, create savings, read books, book a week, that's 12 books in the next three months. So with healthy habits, become best self, my body and soul, for my birthday, and get headshots done. Those are my spring goals that I'm thinking about putting up there, I'm putting up there to their insight in mind. Alright guys, um, I'm making this outro now because I tend to forget to make outros late at night when I'm tired from a busy day, so this is my outro. And like, subscribe keep this channel growing i am so happy that we're at a thousand comment below what your spring goals are and a spring flower so i know that you watch this all the way through yeah love you so much bye